everybody, the Chadwell Butterfly is back again. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but my hair is pink. Uh, now, don't get too attached to this color because the pink is so light that it probably won't last another wash. So, you guys won't be seeing this one again. Sorry. Uh, after this, I'm going to be dyeing it like super red, red, red. Like, I don't think you can see my mannequin, but if you can, it's like red like that. Um, why did I pick a color that was so light that wasn't going to last very long? Well, actually, I didn't. Uh, this pink I got um, from Otaku Jen. She sent it in the mail to me because she can get it for a lot cheaper where she lives as a present. And the reason why she picked this pink is because this is her favorite color on me. Um, when we first met face to face, my hair was pink. So it's her favorite because that's what color it was when we met. But um, yeah, I don't really do this color anymore because it's just so light that it doesn't last very long. So I did it for Jen, but I, I don't think I'll be doing it again. So don't get attached. Thanks, by the way, Jen. I do like it. I just wish it lasted longer. Um, okay, next thing I want to do is I have to send a shout out to little Michael. Hi Michael! Um, Michael is two years old and probably one of my youngest viewers and I think it's so cute that I have a viewer who's so little. So hi little Michael! I hope that you like the show and like this episode and this is me saying hi to you. So hi sweetie! Um, next I do have to send out another shout out. This one goes to all my little girls um, who participated in Sweat. See my t-shirt? Can you guys see it? Um, SWEAT stands for Student Work Experience and Training. And uh, what SWEAT was is one week every summer at AI, they have SWEAT Week. And what happens is um, about 100 grade 11 and 12 students who are interested in fashion can come to AI and for the week we teach them about fashion. And uh, uh, they make dresses out of anything except fabric so they go to the dollar store and they buy little trinkets and they can use tissue paper, wrapping paper, garbage bags, candy wrappers, any kind of thing they can find that isn't fabric and they make a dress and then those dresses do like a little project runway where we pick winners and uh, I got asked to be a student teacher for sweat week this year and so I loved it. I participated and I had an amazing time, a way better time than I thought I was going to have. And I totally loved every little girl who came to my class. And I was actually really lucky. I was the only person who got to participate in every class. I, I moved from class to class to class and I, I was a student teacher for everybody pretty much. But um, there was one class in particular that I spent the most time with and that class had two out of the four winners, so I was really, really proud of that because I really got to see these girls working hard. And um, honestly, everybody worked hard. Everybody did amazing. I was really impressed with everything that I saw. And um, congratulations to everybody. Everybody was a winner. Really, girls? And one guy. Um, great job really great job. I'm really impressed. I'm really proud of all of you. So if anybody wants to see the winning dresses, and remember absolutely no fabric was used in any of these, here they are. This dress was called Raw Peel and it was made out of duct tape and tissue paper mostly. And uh, these girls did a really great job. They won for most outstanding design and it was just beautiful. These girls did a great, amazing, amazing job. Hey girlies! This dress won for best usage of materials. They made this dress out of streamers, tissue paper, um, and uh, uh, ripped up pages from a book, and flyers that they got, little cards that they, they found in stores. 
Really, really great job, you guys. Really, really good. And both these two dresses were from my class. Well, the main class that I taught the most. The other classes I taught as well, but this one I spent my most time in. So I was really proud that they won two of the four awards. Hi, girlies. This next dress won for excellence in execution. And this dress was made out of shower curtains, feathers, and I think paper towel. And it is a wedding dress. So this last one won for honorable mention. They used coffee filters, electrical tape, and shopping bags. Other dresses that I personally felt should have also gotten honorable mention were these two. This one is the tulip dress. I really liked this dress. It's so cute and you can totally see me wearing it. This is totally something I would want in my wardrobe. If it wasn't tissue paper, I'd probably wear it every day. This next dress was called Sid and Marie, and it was inspired by the Sex Pistols and Marie Antoinette, and I really loved this dress. It was really, really beautiful, and they actually even used real lettuce to make that green ruffly trim. Really innovative, you guys. You did an amazing, smashing, wonderful, beautiful job. Really, really great. This other dress as well, I think, personally, should have got honorable mention. I saw these girls, they worked so hard on this dress. They actually made the necklace themselves, and I helped them with the skirt. That is all painted. They actually made a jacket, a removable, workable jacket out of streamers. These girls were fantastic and sweet as pie. I mean, really, really great job, you guys really great job. And you know what? Everybody, really, really great job. Like, seriously, everybody needs to applaud for you guys. Everybody did fantastic. There was um, 17 dresses in total in the end, and I'm sorry, I thought all of them were great. It was really hard to pick winners. I was one of the judges, and it was so impossible. Everybody is so good. So good. So, really, everybody, really, really spectacular job. I'm really proud of all of you. Really, really good. So yeah, Sweat Week was really fun, and I'm really glad I participated in it, and it, I got to be a teacher's assistant, which was really, really cool, fun, amazing stuff. I had such a great time. Such a great time. Really, really amazing. I wish I could do it again. I hope to do it again. And if anybody else hears about it, please participate, because it was a really great experience, and you have a lot of fun. Last thing I have to say, because I only have a minute left. So there's a comic called uh, Samara Night, and it's by Flashfire Comics. Here is the website address, okay, or here, I don't know where I'm putting it. Everybody, please, please, please go visit it. Um, they also have an animated version of their comic, and um, they just so happen to pick yours truly to be the main character's voice in the comic, in the animated version of the comic. So please, 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 you guys, go check it out. It's amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. And I'm so happy to have been a part of it because I've always wanted to kind of tinker with voice acting. So this was my first experience in it. And I got to go to a recording studio. And it was really, really fun. And I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. So please check it out and let me know what you think, okay? Thanks a lot, everybody. And I'll talk to you again soon.